baby girl, you're so damn fine though. They like Monty, can you be my? So I just got done with my workout and I decided to come out back and film this Q&A. Hopefully none of my neighbors are listening because that would be super weird that I'm talking to myself. I asked over your, on my Instagram yesterday, I have so many questions about Moonjaro, which is so natural because I have been really open with my Moonjaro. Sorry, like I need sunglasses or something. But then, it, then we can't look each other in the eyes. But I went over on my Instagram and I was like, you guys, Ask me some questions because I see so many of them and I want to rapid fire answer a bunch. You guys had so many good questions and a lot of them are like, what is it like now that you are off of Moonjaro? Like, how are you feeling? I've been off of it enough time now. This is the longest I've gone without taking it and I can... I feel like I can really answer these questions for you as far as how I'm feeling personally. A lot of the questions are like, how are you, com are you comfortable sharing the cost? How much did it cost you? My insurance won't cover it. A lot, how do you afford it if you only have a diagnosis of insulin resistance? So a lot of it was about the cost of the medication, which I've also discussed several times here on my channel. But in case this is the first video you're ever watching, I was prescribed Munjaro in November of 2023. I have a medical diagnosis of polycystic ovarian syndrome, PCOS, insulin resistance, and hypoglycemia. I keep calling it hypothyroidism, but I don't have any thyroid issues, but I have hypoglycemia. I had that issue come into play when I was pregnant with Everett and it carried over postpartum. I had no issue getting Munjaro when I was prescribed it in November. Shortly after I was prescribed it, they moved Munjaro to only being um, prescribed to type two diabetics, but because I had my Munjaro savings card and I was able to fill my prescription for nine months with the savings card, which cost me $25 to fill my prescription for those nine months. After those nine months were up, um, my last time I tried to go fill up my prescription, I was not able to, and because I'm not a type two diabetic, that was the end of it for me, and I wasn't able to fill it anymore. I still had like four shots in my refrigerator, and I was able to finish those out, and that's when I stopped taking it. I am not able to get it prescribed to me and covered by my insurance anymore. It's just not possible because I don't have a type two diabetic what is it called, diagnosis. Um, I do have blood sugar issues, um, but not type two diabetes. And I'm super thankful for that. And I just have, I've just kind of been raw dog in life. I mean, I don't know what else to say. I know that's like a really gross term, but I basically said, okay, well, if I'm not gonna be able to get it, I'm not gonna be able to get it. I've learned all of these things over the last nine months. I'm going to just move forward because there are so many compounded versions now. My doctor also has a compounded version. I just don't feel like putting the money out for that. I know roundabout, um, I think it's like $500 or something a month, not through my doctor, I don't know. But I just know from like med spas and doctor's offices local to me, there's several people who are distributing um, compounds of these medications. And I would trust no one but my doctor if I decided to go that route, I could absolutely do that. I just don't really have that kind of money to spend on shots for me personally right now. <laughs> um, we just moved into a house. I have a child in private school. Everett's got daycare. Like I'm going to try my damnedest to take all of the things I've learned over these last nine months with using Moonjaro as a tool and keep moving forward. And that's what I've done. But I did not pay the astronomical amount of money, Twelve, I think it's like $1,200 a month without my insurance, or with, in, even my insurance denied it. But like, it, it was $1,200 a month without the Munjaro savings card, and I could never. That's tuition, honey. I'm not paying that for shots. I can't. I just can't. So that's how I paid for it. That's how I was able to afford it. And... I was given to it for a medical reason um, and weight loss and it just all worked out really well for me and I'm super thankful for that but I know that's not the case for a lot of people. So I would say I don't really know much about what insurance covers but I think some insurance may cover Wegovy. I'm not really sure. Um, but th there's so many compounded versions of this medication that you could find from a doctor you trust in standby and that they can monitor you. I feel like that's something really important. I don't think you should just be taking these medications willy-nilly. I really feel like you should have a doctor be like monitoring your progress, check in on you because there are some serious side effects from these meds. So I don't wanna like glaze over that. But that's how I was able to afford it. That was a really long-winded answer, sorry. How has the food noise 
been since going off the medication so funny you asked that okay so for the first four weeks off the meds i was like this is great i still don't have like those consuming thoughts of food uh the cravings were still subsided like i still didn't feel like that intense urge to have a bunch of sweets or junk um now that i have nine weeks off of it i definitely have more food noise but it's definitely not as loud and deafening as it was when i was almost 400 pounds which is so nice i'm able to really work with my therapist and work with my body and my intuit my intuition my stomach's growling right now so after i get done here i need to eat because i just did a fasted workout but the food noise has chilled out but it's come Okay, it's chilled out significantly from where I was, but it definitely comes back. And I feel like people need to be prepared for that because when you're taking those medications, it can feel like you're in a whole new world and you wanna feel that way forever. But the reality is for me, at least, I didn't plan on being on this medication forever. I don't want to be on it forever. I wanted to use it as a tool to like help me get a bunch of weight off and knock off the first, you know, 100 pounds and just really be able to feel safe in my body again and to also help with my hypoglycemia. That shit sucks. I don't know if you deal with blood sugar issues, but the plummets and the spikes are intense and you feel horrible. I haven't had any of that because I've been able to maintain my blood sugars by eating enough protein, eating at the right times, you know, making sure that I'm listening to my body and when I'm starting to feel funny. Um, I do have way more cravings though. And I do think about food a bit more than I did when I was on the shot. I have to say, I really do. Um, but it's not so much food as like, I want fries or I want a Big Mac. I'm gonna crave this. It's more like, how much protein is that? I should be eating more protein. What am I gonna have for lunch? I should have like turkey so that I can get enough protein. I'm always thinking about protein, <laughs> always, because I feel like that is the best way that I have found to stay full, to keep cravings away, to heal after workouts, and to keep myself like going throughout the day. Protein is so crucial and it is so important. And I am a big believer in if you're not getting enough protein, you're gonna feel like absolute dog crap. So yes, the food noise has come back, but it's definitely not as loud. Don't be so scared to get off these medications that you make yourself sick being on them, if that makes sense. I did have a question like side effects and stuff, so I'll get to that, but just know like you can do this without it. Like let it help you, but you can do things, hard things and be healthy and be successful without having to stay on this medication for the rest of your life. You really can. Um, I know it seems like you can't because there can be regain and all those things, but you're, it's a tool, take it, use it, and learn from it, you know? Any long-term or short-term side effects. Um, I have not seen any long-term side effects for me personally from this medication. Short-term side effects for sure, like that was definitely a thing. I was never able to get up to a really high dose of Munjaro. I just didn't feel like I needed it. And when I went up to five milligrams, it made me so freaking sick. So sick, so miserable. It was horrible. And I cannot live my life that way. I have two children and I have a young child and I just need to be able to be with it and not be nauseous and feeling like absolute dog shit. And I did. Um, so I always stayed on 2.5 milligrams, which is technically the loading dose, but I saw really great success with being on the lowest dose. I really feel like it did enough for me that I was able to feel better and more with it without feeling all of the side effects. But the side effects for me when I was on the five milligrams was nausea, um, really really bad was that acid reflux i mean it was horrendous horrendous i never want to feel that way ever again in my entire life i had to take a masropol which is for acid reflux because it was so terrible and that is just not how i want to live my life it was horrible so i did definitely have some short-term side effects the nausea the heartburn my hair started falling out because of the weight loss i'm assuming could have been a medication thing and that really, generally speaking, was all of my side effects, but there are a laundry list, and I feel like they're saying now um, it's causing stomach paralysis, which is, what is that called? Stomach, it's, um, it's a GI thing. You guys know what I'm talking about, I'm pretty sure. Um, I have heard some stories of people having like really major digestive issues because it slows your digestive system down. The biggest tip I can give you is digestive enzymes. Make sure you're taking probiotics and prebiotics. Make sure you're getting enough things in your gut for good gut health to support your gut 
through this medication because it is harsh. It is super freaking harsh on your GI tract. It is tough on your stomach, like it really is. And if you're not careful, it can do permanent damage. So just be really mindful of that. I'm not a doctor or a nurse, but I'm just saying like, it is never a bad idea to keep your gut health in check. However you decide to do that. I personally, when I was on Moonjaro, I was taking digestive enzymes and greens, and now I take Nuvita's green powder. I will always have Nuvita products linked down below. No pressure. You don't have to shop through Nuvita. You don't have to use the greens I use. Use whatever makes you feel best. They also have digestive enzymes on Amazon. I'll leave one of those linked for you as well. They're way more affordable um, just add that into your daily regimen as well i really feel like gut health is super important and you should be really really mindful of that when you're taking this med why moonjaro over metformin or ozemic Ozem ozemic ozempic um because that's what was like offered to me i don't know i i don't know why i picked or i didn't really have any other option we didn't really talk about other options um moonjaro was just the option i was available to get at that time and i had no problem getting it and it seemed to be the best fit for me personally i feel like moonjaro is also i could be totally wrong about this again because i'm not a doctor i am gonna also leave my doctor's information down below she is now shipping nationwide um, and I am, I'm not sponsored by her. I don't get shots from her. She can vouch for that. I don't know if it's like a HIPAA thing, but I don't use these shots that she's doing currently, but I would, and I will if I need to, but I am going to leave her information down below because she is shipping nationwide. Um, so, and I, she's the most affordable that I can tell. And I know she cares and I know she's able, like she's legit. So that's why I will leave her information down below. That woman has changed my life in so many ways. She's the one who got me started on Paxil. I did have a question about Paxil. Am I still taking it? Absolutely. Mental health over everything, babe. <laughs> Mental health over everything. I'm absolutely still taking Paxil. I was going to up my dose of Paxil and instead I switched to um, incorporating CBD daily with my Paxil. Those two together have been really great for me, but I have no intention of coming off my other medication anytime soon. It helps me tremendously. But she's the one that got me started on taking Paxil and listened to me and didn't say a thing about my weight. Like she never brought it up. She always just kind of really genuinely listened to my concerns, um, my health anxiety. I spiraled a lot, you know, having her check lumps and bumps and all these things. And she always just really supported me through that. And she supported me constantly through this journey. And I literally, I could not tell her a million, I could tell her a bajillion times how much she changed my life, but truly she has. So I am gonna leave her information down below. You can email the email that I will leave there if you're interested in her uh, weight loss program or weight loss, it's a compounded version. So I will leave a link down below. Again, I do not use them personally, but I absolutely will if I have to. Did it stop working after a certain amount of time? No, I mean, I went through um, several like stalls in my weight loss, but I also feel like that was really based on like what I was doing personally. The shots are great. I feel like I need to say this. The shots are amazing. Um, for me, they worked incredible. They helped the cravings. They helped my blood sugar stay stable. They're putting blood, it's putting my insulin in the right places. I'm not dumping a bunch of it. You know, like my body was functioning and is this is functioning the way it's supposed to and I really truly believe when I was going through those stalls It was my body's way of saying I need to adjust to this new person and figure it out And I was also I have to work out like I have you have to eat Make good food choices and exercise along with the shot or you're not going to see the results that you could potentially see. I know my body's changing because one, I'm taking the medication or was taking the medication and because I was busting my ass and I still continue to bust my ass in the gym. Like that makes a huge difference. Moving your body and exercising if you can and you're able to alongside of any medication or any kind of weight loss, anything, surgery, shots, I don't know, whatever else, any kind of medical weight loss. If you're doing it, you need to do it right. That means you need to check in with your mental health. You need to have a therapist. You need to have somebody to talk to, maybe a support group. You need to exercise or move your body the very least. And you need to really work on what's going on in your noggin <laughs> up here. I don't feel like it ever stopped working, but I know the moments when I like didn't lose as much, it's because I wasn't going to the gym or making great food choices. And that's on me, that's not on the shot. So I always knew like 
it, I don't need to necessarily go up a dose. I need to dial it in and make sure I'm eating enough protein, make sure I'm not eating too many carbs and getting too much sugar and added sugars in my body, and to make sure that I move my body every single day. That's what I have learned along this entire journey because I have learned that I have discipline. I can be disciplined. I have the ability to make a good choice every single day. And if I don't make a good choice one day, you wake up the next day and you do it you make good choices. It's all about consistency and discipline. And I've learned that I, I can be disciplined. I am stronger than I think I am. And now that I use exercise as a tool to help my mental health and I physically am seeing changes in my body in the way that I'm feeling, I'm addicted to it. I really am. And I know transfer addiction is real. I've gotten a couple of comments and one genuine email. And I'm so thankful for that because I really feel like it's important to check in with people. And I believe that this person who sent me the email genuinely was coming from a really good place and was genuinely concerned that I had some sort of transfer addiction to CBD or, you know, THC or whatever. And I was honestly super thankful for that because you got to check in on your friends. You're like, hey, I love you and I'm a little worried that you're going from binge eating to being addicted to CBD. And that is a very valid and genuine concern and I'm, I really do appreciate it. As far as CBD goes and THC, that is something that I've been doing and using for well over 10 years. Um, illegal, to be honest with you, many years before it was legal here. Uh, I, I enjoyed it and I'm not super proud of that. The reason I love Nuvita, first of all, I'm an affiliate with them. So I do make commission off of people's purchases. But I am also in this like health awakening. That's why you see my garden that I'm growing and I talk about, you know, birth control and how it affects our hormones because the more I learn about my body and our bodies in general and the food we eat and the supplements we take and the medications we take along with Moonjaro, I'm very pro Western medicine. I love my Paxil. I'm so thankful for it. I loved taking Moonjaro. It did so many wonderful things for me, but ultimately, I am very skeptical of um, the foods that we ha are eating and I'm trying to make better choices in my general overall, overall wellness. And the CBD and THC products you're getting from a dispensary are grown in mass production. You know, like they're, they're not grown with care <laughs> um, necessarily. They're grown legally, but like what the state says is legal and what can be in and on top of these things or like i don't know i don't want to get flagged or anything but basically what these things are grown in matters and um just because it has medical attached to it doesn't necessarily mean it's the best for you and i genuinely believe that cbd helps me and helps so many people with inflammation it helps with my mood my anxiety i mean it helps me in so many different ways and I really do appreciate the concern, but just know I'm sharing Nuvita because it's clean. It's USDA certified organic, it's third party tested. The products themselves are grown in soil that is close to virgin as possible because you can't really have virgin soil. And I just know how well they're made and where they come from and how they're grown. And that's why I'm super passionate about Nuvita because people are using CBD and medical marijuana. That's just the reality of it. Millions and millions of people, people are scared to say they're doing it or using it for, for medical issues. Um, but I genuinely appreciate the concern, but just know I've been doing this a long time and it's not anything new. I didn't transfer it over. It's been there, you know, like I've been using this medical marijuana CBD for years and years and years. Um, it's not just something that popped up. I just so happened to pop up with it because I found Nuvita. They had an affiliate program. I love the products and I make commission and I make, I make a living sharing Nuvita with you guys. So that's why you hear me talk about it a lot. It's not because I'm like, you know, itching for the CBD. It's because I want to genuinely help people. And I feel like these products genuinely help people. So that's why I'm super open about that. And I share it a lot. I just wanted to be super honest with you. I, I really, I really do appreciate that because transfer addiction is so real, so real. And that is why when I started my weight loss journey, I was like, I am not going to drink alcohol. I'm just not because I do have an addictive personality. I was addicted to food, binge eating, you know, like there is that in me. And I know with alcohol, especially 
once I start, I can't stop. And I don't like the way that I feel. I don't want that to become a thing. I don't want to lean on it for like my general happiness and well being. And I feel way more confident in using a natural plant than I do using poison. <laughs> That's how alcohol is to me. I'm not judging you. Drink, drink till you're little. I have a good time have a blast if it works for you and it's like totally fine for you i'm so happy um it just is not for me and i prefer the more natural route it's a plant grown from the ground god gave us this plant what a man amen brother um but that's what, where i'm at i am still actively losing weight i'm still actively trying my very best and if i ever feel like i need and I can't afford because I mean, yes, I make a living selling CBD, but like shots are expensive and I got bills. I don't know about y'all, but I got bills. If you're able to, like, if I ever feel like I need to do it again, I will 1000%, 1000%. My mom is seeing amazing results right now. She's taking semaglutide. Um, it's a compounded version and she's getting it through a local med spa and she's lost over 20 pounds she was just diagnosed with osteoporosis has nothing to do with the shot uh just send mama jill so much love because she just got diagnosed with osteoporosis that runs in our family it's genetic and she's super bummed out because my mom's like a healthy queen she's been you know taking her calcium her entire life and she's always been so active and so healthy and eating wonderful and she's still she's you know has this diagnosis now and although it's not affecting her daily life it's still like hard to hear um but she's knocked 20 pounds off of her in the last couple months she looks fantastic i only know that i know that it's going to help her further in her journey and make her feel better and i'm super proud of her like i don't judge anybody for doing anything when it comes to your health get where you need to go I feel like we are all preparing ourselves for something so much bigger than us. Our kids need us. This world needs us. And like your health is your wealth. I'll say it a million times until I'm blue in the face. The sun's even coming out more now. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Um, your health is your wealth. You cannot buy your health. I mean, you could, I guess, maybe, but <sighs> nothing is more important than taking care of yourself and how you get there doesn't matter just do the next right thing. I'm gonna show you my garden because the last time you guys saw it, I just planted it and I have got some stuff growing. It looks quite a bit different since the last time. If you're on my Instagram, you see this all the time. I show it daily. But there's my zucchini. I have a zucchini here. My cucumbers are growing. The bell pepper. Everything is doing pretty well. I'm super proud of this. I've never grown anything before. So for me, this has been such a good time. Those are green. Oh, I have a bug on me. Jesus. Green beans. And then Trixie. Um, my spinach and my lettuce. I hope that answered your questions. If you guys have any more questions, make sure you leave them down below for me. I'd love to answer as many as I can. And I'll catch you all on the flip side. Bye, friends.